Hello everybody, I am Brandman19 and welcome to a brand new series in our Europa Universalis 4. This is going to be an Ottoman campaign, if you cannot tell by the title of the video and by just who I am centered on and clicked on and all that right now. Yes, we'll be playing the Ottomans. This is a popular demand brought on by the Discord. Uh, lots of people there were sitting there just saying, just play the Ottomans. I really want to see how well you, how much you've uh, learned over the course of, I guess, really about the last year now. Um, I mean, it's been just about a year since I started playing EU4 and recording it, so I figure it's a good idea to go ahead and return. There's been a couple expansions, things like that, so it'd be kind of cool to play and just see how it goes. I have every single um, expansion up to Dharma done, and we are playing with the Poland patch to start with. So that's 1.27.2, maybe? So, um, yeah, so we've gotten all that done. Uh, anyways, though, we will be starting in 1444. The Ottomans are starting out as a kingdom rank with the Anatolian Technology Group. They are Sunni. Uh, we do have chances to go elsewhere. I don't think I'm going to go elsewhere. I think we're going to stay Sunni, um, just because I'd like to kind of keep it original on that end. Uh, we are a Sultanate, uh, Sultan Mehmed II Fatih. He is a 646, so he's an awesome ruler to start with. We start at 333 uh, in, uh, what do you call it? in uh, tech levels. Uh, Ottoman ideas, start, uh, their starting ideas are Discipline Plus 5 and Tolerance of Heathens. Once we get all the ideas... Uh, the bonus idea is land force limit modifier plus 33%. The ideas themselves are uh, Kanunames, which is core creation cost minus 20%, max promoted cultures plus one. That's great. Ghazi, manpower recovery speed plus 20%. That's awesome. Timar system, cavalry combat ability plus 15. Autonomous Pasha's cost of reducing war exhaustion minus 10%. The law code of Suleiman or Suleiman or is national tax modifier plus ten percent. Tulip period trade efficiency plus ten percent and found the Imperial School of Naval Engineering ship cost minus ten percent. Um, something to point out is that I don't have an exact achievement I'm running for here. I'm really just going to go through the missions of the Ottomans, blob out like that's supposed to. Um, we could find ourselves. All the way over in Malacca, uh, we could find ourselves going for the Sultanate of Rum and owning uh, Moscow, uh, Rome, and uh, Constantinople. We could, um, you know, we could see ourselves going and doing a Parisian Pasha out of this. It could all be done, just depending on how well this goes. So I'm pretty excited about it. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's pop in. Uh, Iron Man, of course. Yes, as you can see, I haven't even looked at him. Ottoman, start the Iron Man campaign. Pretty excited about this one, honestly. I mean, I didn't do it in Iron Man last time, so there's a lot that I could probably get. All right, the Ottoman Sultanate, Sultanate, 1444. The Ottomans of 1444 are regional power in the process of securing control over Anatolia and the Balkans. In the east, Ottoman control has been reimposed in the aftermath of the Timurid invasion, but several Beyliks remain independent. These bays jockey for a position between the expanding power of the Ottomans on one side and the Mamluk Empire of Egypt and Syria, still the strongest state in the Middle East on the other. In Europe, the Ottomans had defeated the Crusaders in the Battle of Varna, killing Vladislaw, the Polish and Hungarian king. Byzantium now lies exposed and Hungary has been forced on the defensive, but with the fortress of Belgrade still, serve, uh, still serves as a strong bulwark against further Ottoman expansion. The lesser princes in between can survive only by playing the great powers off one another. Further south, Skanderbeg leads Albania in revolt against the Ottomans, supported by Venice which still dominates the seas. The realm ruled by the Ottoman dynasty is not yet a centralized state in 1444. The Sultan's authority is enforced only by his small household of servants, recruited from slaves captured in war and from the Devshirmi, the periodic conscription of Christian youths from the Balkan countryside. These are the famous Janissaries, who will in time grow into a powerful standing army. The Ottomans have come to power with the military backing of numerous marcher lords, still highly autonomous on the Balkan frontier. While the the administration lies in the hands of the Turkish aristocracy, literate in the ways of statecraft, but largely independent of the Sultan's authority. All this is about to change. Having defeated the Crusader armies, the old Sultan, Murad II, is now on his way back to his estates in Manisa, leaving the government in the hands of the young Mehmed II. It is he who will go on to transfer the Ottomans... 
a state into an empire, acquiring Constantinople, Constantinople as an imperial capital and establishing a centralized administration to reign in the marcher lords and old Turkish families. For the Grand Turk, there can be no compromise. The House of Osman is to be the supreme authority in the land. The only question is this, where will his armies turn to first? You can see just based off that, while it's kind of a, it's one of the best nations to ever start out when you're learning the game. Uh, we're a Sunni. We are a monarchy that, you know, will, and uh, we are in the land of Europe and the Holy Roman Empire. So uh, technically we're kind of in between, but it's okay. We, that's, we kind of want to be in Europe uh, for that matter. So let's take a look through everything. We have rivals to pick. Hungary, Lithuania, Austria, and the Mamluks have called us then. Um, I'm going to go ahead and name Hungary as one. I'm going to go ahead and name Lithuania as the other. And then I'm going to name the Mamluks as my third rival. Um, do, 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 do. We have quite a few truces. Looking at ourselves right now, we are guaranteeing Ragusa. I'm going to go ahead and end that. Um, let's see, relations, no, influence, yes, revoke their guarantee, I do not care about them, that's all, um, let's see, Tlemcen likes us, Tunis likes us, so both of those would be great people to have as friends right out the gate, um, matter of fact, let's take a look, who would, who would be great for, uh, you know alliances and stuff like that are out the gate. Let's see diplomacy. Let's go to alliance. Offering alliances. Quite a few people near me. Crimea is definitely going to be one. We're going to do Crimea, and then royal marriages with Crimea, Tunis, and Slimson. Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. Let's see relations. Send a royal marriage there. And a royal marriage there. Now then, um I've done all I can do for that exact this exact moment. Let's take a look through this. Adopt the title of Khalifa gives us move ten towards legalism. Uh denouncement of sect practices, move ten towards legalism, minus one national unrest. Mystery Street versus Heretics goes up for enforcing religious unity. Expand the Dev Shmi. National Manpower goes up plus 10. And I'll lose 100 military. You know what? Let's do that. Right out the gate. Let's do it. Enacting a naval, enacting a naval doctrine. Um, hmm. Galleys? Or that naval maintenance going down. You know, it's not important. Um, not right now, at least. Let's see. Anything else I can do? No. Let's take a look at our troops. We are, Our force limit is 38. We currently have... What? Yeah. Hmm. Let's see if I can go ahead and expand this. I need you up to 1, 2, 3, 4. There you go. That gives me four more. There you go, that's fine. Uh, I don't need to put any leaders in control, I don't think. We're going to be going to war with Byzantium very shortly here, once I get my alliances and all set up. So let's go ahead and speed into the game a little bit. Royal marriage is coming in. Successor of Vladislaw III. Yeah, so... Yeah, they went with the Jagellon. Okay, an alliance with Crimea... Yes. We want to immediately start working to make sure that we can protect them from some of the folks around them. Uh, Tlemcen, I think you would be great for a royal marriage. That way we can keep you safe. Um, there's a royal marriage with Tlemcen. And then there's got to be one more that would be a great person to royal marry. Uh, somebody that's going to, you know, kind of like us. Cyprus could, but they're being guaranteed by the Mamluks. Can like I eventually bring you up? Do they they desire Teak or Tech? Which is this, okay. Um then there's you. 
There's border friction, but you don't desire anything, and you'll probably be an easy person to vassalize. Then there's you. You desire Sivas. You desire there's Samsky, who's Orthodox. Sarkazia is not a good one. Genoa and Theodora. Okay, I'm just looking for people that I could royal marry and then eventually, t you know, take their stuff. Let's go with Dulcadir. They seem to be a good first start right there. That'll be my fourth. All good on that front. Too few rivals. Um, yeah, Lithuania. Wait, what? Lithuania is no longer a valid rival, but they have me rivaled. Okay. Um, Venice will be my other one. We have some desires on Venetian land. Uh, matter of fact, let's go on and look at the mission tree really fast here. So we have City of the World's Desire, which is like owning Constantinople and running down through Greece, Serbia, Bosnia, the Danube, Wallachia, and Transylvania, which is all this area. Then we have your basic stuff, building the force limits, all that stuff that's normal. Uh, for everybody, and Imperial Conquest seems to be one on there. Let's see, yeah, build manufactories, all that stuff. Then there's Reform the Imperial Army. So then we start getting into these ones that are all about taking over, like all of this land, all of this land, all of the Arabian Peninsula, stuff like that. So I like all that. I'd like to help Crimea actually take over, like, parts of Lithuania and all this. So we'll have to keep an eye out see what the uh, Russians or the Muscovians do. Muscovites, that's what they are. All right. Let the time move on a little bit. We can now humiliate the some folks. Let's see. Can I ally with you yet? No, i got to wait till 12th of December. Offering an alliance to you. Offer an alliance to you. Gotta wait. Yep, there we go. Offer an alliance to you. Mantua's in that trade league there. There's Dulcadir, which... Should, yep, there they are in the accepting that. Uh, you're going to become a vassal, though. That's really what I have planned for you. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and go down here. I'm going to let this last guy go. There you go. He is going to be Diplomacy. I'd like to put one on Allies. Actually, is he, yeah, he's went straight to working with Dulcadir. That's really awesome. Thank you. Uh, mission fulfilled. Reforming the Imperial Army. We can now consolidate Asia Minor at our will. Um, those I don't even really want to touch. How much money am I making? 2.11, which means... Mm, dip, uh, diplomatic's the way to go, I think, to start. So trade efficiency, 1.01. Alright, we got that cast of spelly up. Oh, build a force limit was up too. Morale of armies plus five and land maintenance modifier. See, there's already two missions knocked out within minutes. Um, I think I'm about ready to go ahead and do this. Allied with Theodoro. So this is actually going to bring Theodoro in in Athens. I can take Theodoro, I think. Wait, why isn't it giving me... Do I just not start with a claim? That's really weird. I thought I started with a claim on Byzantium. What about on Athens? Nope. That's all right. We'll use one of our guys. We'll go start building up the spy network. We want Constantinople. The faster we can get that, we can bring Theodore. We can fight Theodoro in Athens. Take as much land as we possibly can from him. Okay, yep, perfect, perfect. We're going to leave our, you know, I know we have a lot of castles that really aren't great positions, but, I mean, I'm going to keep them where I've got them. At least until I start working this way, then I'll get rid of Selmanic. Okay. 
Bosnia, from Serbia fighting each other. Surrender of Maine event has occurred and they just gave them Maine, so that did not turn into war. Okay, Merchant Guild loses 20 loyalty, loses 10. I think we're going to have to run with that, yeah. That's the better option at the moment. I can't convert any of these guys just yet. Provincial unrest starting up. Albanian separatist. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Uh, influenza, quarantine that port. It cost me 50 admin. Really, we can't be having that. Alright, we're at 14.76, so we're about ready to start this. Kandar has insulted us. I probably could have gone on to war with these guys. Great Horde and Ramazan. I mean, I don't really care about the Great Horde so much. They could have, they don't they can't really get to me, I don't think. Carmelon fighting them would bring in the uh Arcane uh the AQ, whatever. <laughs> Hard to say these names, man. I mean I'll gain that one mercantilism for, for you know for very little drop, so that's fine. I can't afford another uh, advisor right now, but with Constantinople, I could easily do that, I think. I could actually raise Constantinople to 60 development over time and get, like, an achievement that way, I believe. Like, something is like, Amazing City is what it would be. I'll go ahead and bring him down here. Let's go ahead and send this around. As we can now make a claim. On Constantinople. Let's recruit another general. You'll get that one. You'll get that one. We need to come down this way. What kind of ships are these? There are eight galleys. What kind of ships do you have? I think I'm going to bring these guys. Yeah, let's bring these guys back up here. I'm going to let them f fight it out up here with these guys. Maybe we can destroy them. Okay. I think we're ready. Go ahead and say to declare Athens, Theodoro, uh, Theodoro, who are your friends? If I were to have fought you. Theodoro is a tributary state of Crimea. Oh. Well, you're about to lose your tributary, Crimea. Go add a Theodoro to it. March in. There we go. There we go. There's that fleet engagement right there. Yeah, nice. Uh, how did we fare? 79, 89. We might want to... Let's turn in for a second. Let's get our men back up. Get fix up the ships. Take about a month and a half left. And I'll come back out here and knock on these guys. Back out. 
There we go. Got him again. I think we just captured a ship. Yeah, we did. Captured a galley. That's at 35. This is at 64 still. We're just trying to... go they lost one I don't think we gathered anything there nope oop big battle it's okay we lost it but you know and we lost a ship but we can sit back and relax knowing that we did do quite a bit of damage to their navies already we'll wait for these galleys to all get fixed up and send them back out he's gonna take a while Ooh, we got a wall breach there. We got a wall breach there. So he's at 14%. 35, negative 21. I'm going to make this a little bit longer of an episode to try to help us out. There's 21. There's 35. Don't know if Crimea likes us or not. For right. Well, yeah, they're at 193. They don't care. Siege of Constantinople. Complete. Can I march to here? No. Luckily, I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, that guy's at 63, 73 now. So I could probably jump out and grab it. There's a Siege of Athens. We'll go to Achaia. I don't think Naxos is in this war, is it? No. Let's go here. Yep, he's going to march off. We're going to go find out where he's going. Let's see these. or Everybody's at 100. out attack got to bring ourselves back in I would love to have just been able to move troops over War of the Roses has started mm, we'll do with that that's okay let's go ahead and get an, uh, an admiral should make our fighting ability much better. There we go. Nice victory there. Take a month or two to get ourselves back up. It looks like we've cleared this, though. Then go hit this. Let's go down there. They're going to send 12 ships. Let's see how we do. Oh, they sent 19 ships. We're killing, we're destroying tons of their ships right now. Okay, back in. It's okay, I destroyed a few of their ships. A few of ours are close to getting destroyed, but close is not far enough to count. Let's get our morale up here too. I would love just to jump on the ship. Just tink, get. Go back in. I'm waiting to see if these guys will leave. Siege of Morea is now done. May have jumped out too soon. 
Let's get back in. We just did. Com we have combined arms now. New achievement unlocked. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's go back up here. Send these guys up to here. Let's have a chit chat. Theodoro is high, so it's that's the problem right now. A lot of my galleys are gone, and this is not an area really for barks to be fighting in. Can I get... No, I can't do Athens separately, and I can't get these guys out. There's a coalition for this, but Byzantium and Wallachia, big deal. Um, take all their money. I mean, and I didn't get Theodoro out of it, but... I mean, that's okay. Crimea might do something with them eventually. Let's, uh... There it is. Let's get rid of this castle. So we got that one right there. See the world's desire is ours. We've actually conquered Greece too. Now we're on to conquering Serbia when that gets a chance to get done. Oh wait, and we're expanded the Ottomans too. Wow, lots of stuff done. Okay, national decisions. Make Constantinople the capital. It gives me stability. We are now an empire rank. Let's send this guy back here. I want to send this guy down to Atina. Okay, I think that's as good a place as any to stop, guys. So, uh... Well, we did, we've did. we already started our wars and our conquests. Not bad. I think in the future we'll be trying to shoot up here some. Looks like Venice took a ton of land, so we'll be fighting Venice. Uh, Serbia, Al Albania, quite a few. Hungary as well, as well as all these guys down here. So I uh, might actually be going east in the next battle just so I can keep my aggressive expansion low. So, all right, guys, I appreciate y'all so much for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out the link for Discord in the description below, and I'll see you all next time.